For Krima Media's Policy, this is Sane Lamini. Joining me today is political analyst Professor Raymond Satna to discuss his column titled ANC Governments Cause the Problems, They Cannot Be the Ones to Resolve Them. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. So now you disqualify the ruling African National Congress-led state and the ANC itself from resolving uh, our current problems. Yet you also make no mention of the Democratic Alliance, Professor. Is it now leading uh, for metro coalitions and continues to govern the Western Cape? Can it be simply dismissed? Yeah, no, I don't think it can be simply dismissed. And... I'm having experiences which make me believe that you just would like the ANC is not one thing. The DA is not one thing. Mm. In Johannesburg, for example, I think I've mentioned before, you've got this nine-party coalition led by the DA, Mm. very impressive mayor, Mm. Paul Palazzi, and they are in a fragile situation. And this is why... Uh, the DA will have difficulty solving a lot of problems because in all places except Western Cape and Cape Town, they are in a very fragile situation where every now and again, the ANC tries to destabilize them, votes out this person or some violence is initiated and all sorts of things. Mm. But I've noticed that the there's a special effort with potholes, the initiatives with renewable energy in Johannesburg and in Ikuruleni, although incidentally in Ikuruleni seems to have started under the ANC. There was one, one report saying that in Ikuruleni, the cost of electricity will go down in about a year's time. I'm staying in Ikuruleni, so I'm quite concerned about that. But they don't seem to be quite as dynamic as the Johannesburg one, although immediately where I stay, there's a WhatsApp group and you can see a DA councillor at work. And what happens is every time there's a burst water pipe or something, she immediately gets a number and an estimated time of repair then she reports back to them, same with electricity, and she once offered to meet every Saturday morning at some coffee shop here. So it's really the way the ANC used to try to operate, the way this person operates here, it's impressive. And it shows you that you do get, the DA is not one thing, like the ANC is not one thing. And some of the DA people can make a big difference. But Professor, is it realistic now uh, to argue for a broad alliance of forces uh, that is so broad that many uh, have never worked together? Or is it realistic in any case? And how are these forces to be organized? You know, some of the forces have worked together, Mm. uh, but not in a, a very mass way in recent years, some of them are forces that were in the UDF. What is different is that I'm giving a lot of emphasis to business, especially big business, something I would not have done in the past. And the reason why I'm doing it is that business is a stable power in South Africa. It's more stable than government. And business has a long-term interest in having an end to criminality, end to corruption, end to violence, and a general situation where there's peace in the country, because they lose if they have to pay an extra amount under the table to get a contract. It doesn't suit them. And But how it gets initiated will require um, people to start the talks, and secondly, to make compromises, because what the unemployed want and what big business want will not be the same. Mm. So they've got to first find what it is that they share and try to make concessions on what they don't share. Mm. I've been talking to quite a few people, uh, but I am not myself 
I represent no one, you know, so I can't really just, uh, go to big business and say uh, in the same way as the president of Kosatu can go mm. and say I represent this, that and the other. Um, but I'm trying my best to influence others and through what I write. Mm. So everything starts slowly and it takes a long time. Mm. When we built organization during the struggle, to build organization that survived required a lot of hours talking and listening. And I think that's what's required. A lot of people in South Africa have already seen, as you are also saying, that most uh, of the commentators and some people uh, in the ANC see coalitions as the future. Why do you not consider this viable and as a potential way for the ANC to possibly revitalize itself? Well, you know, the ANC may come into uh, back into leading government mm. as the strongest party if it forms a coalition with the DA or the EFF or maybe even a smaller party. Mm. But that doesn't mean that the ANC will become a new, a reborn uh, party or organization, I prefer, because there's no signs that the ANC is, it uses the word renewal, but it's got no uh, signs that it really believes in this. The police force is getting worse and worse. The level of violence, the level of corruption, you've got about five, five top police on trial now. You've got a shadow over Becky Trele and a number of others uh, at other levels, every second day, there's a new corruption scandal. Some of the details unfold. Some of them are already known. Mm. And if it's with the EFF, there's certainly going to be very little change to that because they themselves have got a lot of shady deals alleged and proved. Mm. And with the DA, I don't know. You know, there's problems with the DA in terms of transformational vision and things like that. I'm not saying it's anti-Black people because in the Western Cape, I mean, look, actually in the Western Cape, the Black areas, the colored and African areas are much worse serviced or the conditions they live in remain much worse. But the general governance is more uh, legalized and, and, and regularized than under ANC. So it may be, be uh, better if they are together with the DA, mm. but it won't be enough to rehabilitate the ANC in my view. There was political analyst, uh, Professor Raymond Sadna, speaking to Prima Media's policy about ANC governments cause the problems. They cannot be the ones to resolve them.